Continue Arts Foundation has an intergenerational choral program and we had already established a children's chorus, two youth choirs, and an adult choir. So Senior Sing was our final piece. When a group of seniors approached us about starting a senior chorus, I had my doubts. I didn't think we could field enough seniors interested in singing, and boy was I wrong. Our first day, we were very surprised when 25 people showed up. And then the next rehearsal, there were 30, and then there were 40, and it kept growing and growing and growing far beyond our expectations. We have over 60 people here. And a special thank you to the Summit Area Public Foundation for their grant that enabled us to do the program here at the Summit Community Center. Overlook Medical Center and the Luminary Fund have been very helpful in funding this program. As they began, we took baby steps. The rehearsals were paced according to what their experience was and what they could produce in a rehearsal. I had no singing experience at all. As a matter of fact, when I was in high school, our choral director didn't want me in the chorus. It's a wonderful opportunity to learn that you have a skill you didn't really realize you had. It's good to feel that you're developing something new, you have some ability, and it makes you feel younger. You're with a lot of good people. Everybody smiles, they're happy to see each other. We just love it, it's all in the heart. They know the terminology, their musicianship has improved, and then when we have new singers come in, the ones that have been around for a while kind of adopt them. Occasionally I invite other people to join us. You can come at any time, any week. I can't say enough about it. It's wonderful. It is this group specifically that you see the magic of music in action. Sitting in that ensemble are people that are suffering from different stages of cancer. There are people that are fighting Alzheimer's. There are people that have recently lost a spouse. They say to us over and over again, this is the hour in my week that I live for. This has been the highlight of my year, really. I started in the spring and I'm still with it. And when I leave here during the day, after Wednesdays, I feel so good. The senior sing is probably the best hour of the week. If you'll ask anyone in this group, they say it's changed their lives. It's the fastest hour of the week. Every Wednesday, 11 o'clock, I enjoy it so much. Being a senior citizen, it makes you feel lighthearted. It gives you something to look forward to. You just leave everything behind, and you just have fun just singing. It's joyful. It's just a most precious hour. It's relaxing. It's challenging. It's a wonderful opportunity for seniors to get together and to produce something. As we have grown this semester, they're singing in two-part harmony. They're occasionally singing in four-part harmony. Snow, it won't be long before it won't be there. There's a great motivation to be here because you want to learn your part. There's just an improvement, and there's an improvement because we're working towards it. There are goals because there are performances. I'm looking forward to the AARP and all the gigs, as we call them. I think we bring joy and pleasure to our audiences. I know we do, and it's been immensely satisfying. You want to do well for yourself, you want to do well for the group, and you want to do well especially for Candace. She's 100%, 200% professional. Candace Wick is phenomenal. Her personality, her outlook on everything, and the way she treats us, she's so dignified. I mean, she treats us so, so, like we're very, so very, very special to her. And all of us love to be in her company. She makes music fun. It has been a very moving and rewarding experience as a conductor, as a musician, and as a human. Just to see what the magic of music does, the healing powers of music. We're making music. <laughs> what better activity could there be? We're awesome. <laughs> we are just awesome. <laughs> <laughs>